Hey guys, Tactical Minds here. Uh, Barrel and Blade Operation uh, 61, I believe. Um, we're going to go ahead and just uh, rip right into it. Um, before we do real quick, just as always, guys, please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow us over on Facebook at Tactical Minds. And if you haven't, I'll put the link in the description. But our new podcast, Tactical Minds, Raw and Unfiltered, uh, episode one just dropped the other night ago. Audio is okay on it, but getting a mic so it's going to make the audio a little bit better, hopefully. Um, appreciate it. Without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get into it, okay? And I'm pretty sure we know at this point that, uh, you know, if we get another uh, $90 fanny pack, I'm going to fucking lose my shit and lose the subscription. But anyway, uh, Ready Man Knife, you guys seen this before. It's a little piece of shit. Does what it's supposed to for this. Some people open them up before and then kind of whatever, but I like to do it with you guys so you can see the live reaction. Go ahead and sit over here. And let's see what we got. All right. So right away, I already see one thing that I've got tons of, but it's not a bad thing. So uh, let's go ahead and get the card out. Um, Operation 61. There you go. I don't know if that's going to focus too well see the light on it yeah it should be okay there so you guys can pause it if you want to read same thing here level one level two try to get out of that light probably not going to focus too well anyway all right so as uh you guys know said before level one level two right um level one fifty dollars level two hundred dollars plus shipping um and let's go ahead get into it and then we'll go over all the uh, values and stuff like that. Oh, uh, let's see. So right off the rip, first thing, like I said, I recognize, and I have uh, at least three of already is the Pitbull uh, mag carrier. Okay. Try to get that out of the light. There you go. Pitbull mag carrier. So it's a, uh, uh, what you call a magazine for pretty much any type of pistol mag. Um, it's got the, uh, We'll open it up here. It's it's actually they're pretty good. Like I said, I have three or four of them, um, and, and I, I I like them. You can never have enough mag carriers. You guys know I always say carry a spare mag right wherever you go, so you never have enough. Um, and the nice thing about this is, uh, you know, it's go ahead and get out of here. It's uh, got this little rubber rise thing here, so it stretches. Um, little belt clip there, clips on your belt. Um, this is my third black one. I have one in OD green, but, uh, you know, nice thing is it doesn't matter what size um, magazine it is. It'll uh, go ahead, take it in there, holds it in there pretty snug, you know, quick enough if you need it. But um, That rubber goes ahead and expands. And again, it'll uh, hold that extra magazine in there. Good thing to always have. It's kind of slim line. So nice to have uh, on your on your belt so that you can always have an extra magazine so good thing there let's go ahead and take a look uh so they say these things are 25 dollars, which is pretty much a fair price for it you see their little logo little bell clip pitbull tactical fair price 25 like i said i've had no issues with them it's my third or fourth one um, let's see next is a lancer magazine clinch and uh there we go sorry for the light on this one guys um so lancer magazine clinch i'm assuming that is to go ahead and couple your ar-15 mags um and yeah that's exactly what it is uh, to couple your ar-15 mags uh they're saying this is priced at 22 dollars um yeah basically to go ahead and let you uh you know Make sure that you can carry uh, two magazines in your weapon at a time. Um, I don't use them, but it's not a bad thing to have ever, um, especially if you're, you know, if you're uh, shooting a competition or something like that. Although I don't shoot competitions, so I'm not quite sure for a three gun or anything like that. I'm pretty sure there's probably rules against that. You probably can't have the double, uh, you know, the double mag coupler there, but um yeah, uh, it says that couplers fit Lancer and USGI mags. Um, 
nothing against PMAGs, but uh, okay, so it's saying it doesn't fit PMAGs. Um, so that's something I didn't realize. It doesn't fit PMAGs. A lot of my mags are PMAGs. I have some Lancer mags, but it's saying Lancer and USGI steel mags, not PMAGs. So if you have PMAGs, um, that's not going to work for you. But again, $22 at that, right? Uh, let's see here. Ooh, decent little, uh, little dagger here. Cold steel fixed ring dagger. All right. Let's... Uh, Go ahead and give that a quick little check out. I kind of like that. Uh, of course, it's going to take a second to rip into it. Go ahead and use this little, I'll tell you, man, for a little fiberglass thing, this thing actually does the job for this kind of stuff. Wouldn't carry it for anything else, but. Um, oh, nice little dagger. It uh, Interesting. It feels the same material. So that's it right there. Let's go ahead and take the tip off. That's it. Um, very sharp tip on it. Uh, you can see kind of serrated edges on there, but it feels fiberglass, much like this Ready Man uh, one is. It feels very much the same thing. So I'm not sure. I mean, you could definitely, you know, stab somebody with that. I mean, it's got the ring and it's it's good for that. Um, as far as slicing anything, I don't think it's going to do much damage there. But as far as stabbing, I mean. That's that's definitely sharp. Um, let's see. I'm I'm pretty sure it feels fiberglass. Uh, let's see here. Cold steel fix FGX ring dagger. Yep, non-metallic, uh, injection molded from Grivex. I don't know what Grivex is. Lighter in weight than its metal metal counterpart. Equipped with sharp reinforced point. Uh, twin grip serrated edges, no joke when it comes to self-defense, uh, integrity molded. So, okay, um, again, I don't know what GRIV, G-R-I-V-E-X, GRIVX is. Uh, probably not going to see that, but um, not too sure what that is. If you guys find out what it is or somebody knows, let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, not too sure what that is, but they're saying that, you know, it's uh, it's a lot lighter. Again, it does have the ring on it. Um, Kind of a little key ring there too. I don't think you would hang this off your keys, but um, does have a good ring on it. And again, does have a very sharp uh, tip on it, um, but I don't think you'd be able to use it for much of slashing. But first, as far as a quick stab self-defense weapon, I mean, yeah, I can see it. Oh, not bad. Um, they're saying that that is $9. So yeah, about about what I would uh, what I would pay for it. That seems about right. Uh Next we have here, let's see, a, another cold steel product, a cold steel Delta Dart. Again, sorry for that light, guys. It's uh, later in the evening here, so um, cold steel Delta Dart. Let's just go ahead and take it out so you guys can see what the heck it's all about. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that out there. And dropping shit all over tonight. All right, so... I'm guessing, again, that's very sharp at the tip. Um, again, it has a little ring here. So um, not very big for your fingers, but I'm guessing this is some type of uh, self-defense dagger. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, let's see here. A cold steel Delta Dart. Non-metallic knife made out of high-strength abrasion, impact-resistant thermoplastic. Jesus. Designed for self-defense and piercing. Um, ergonomic handle for knuckled for secure grip. Um, rounded at both the thumb palm. So, uh, okay. I mean, it's another self-defense thing. Um, I wouldn't really bet my life on it, but in a pinch, if you had nothing else, um, again, it is uh, extremely sharp tip point so in a pinch i guess i mean you could definitely get somebody in the fucking jugular or you know uh chest shoulders up under the armpit whatever um i mean it'd work in a pinch like it i would always carry my weapon but hey you know whatever in a pinch if you got nothing else or if you're in a place where you can't carry metal because it is non-metallic um that gives you at least another carrying option for self-defense that and the dagger so uh that's a good thing like again if you're in a place where you can't carry metal uh Good thing that you can have some type of other weapon on you with all the shit going on today. I mean, I wouldn't go anywhere without a weapon personally. 
And if you're one of those people that says you are the weapon, uh, good for you. All right, next is, let's see here. Oh, okay, stripper clips. Oh, stripper clips, I'm uh, believing that's to load your, man, oh man, that light, to load your uh, five, five, six rounds there, um, load them up and be able to strip them off. I've gotten a lot of my, uh, you know, five, five, six um, rounds that I get from work and stuff uh, do come in the stripper clips and they're, you know, nice and easy to take off. I've never loaded them in stripper clips though. That's kind of a, kind of interesting, but let's uh, see here. Oh, and by the way, that Delta dart that we showed that uh, self-defense dart was $5. If I didn't go over that. So let's see the stripper clips, stripper clips, stripper clips, $10. If you have your ammo on a stripper clip, you're able to load much faster. Okay, so it is to load with the, uh, you know, load your 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 rounds faster. Your five five six rounds. That's what I've always seen them on. Never uh, pistol rounds, but um, compatible with most speed loaders. Or grab a stripper clip. Um, the the only thing with these that I would uh, take issue with is when I get these at work. Um, these are only. Uh, you know, you, you have them loaded up with 10 rounds, usually on a stripper clip and uh, that's it. It's a one-time use. So as far as I know, so I don't think they have reuse value, but um, $10, I mean, I guess to have a few on there and be able to sneak them somewhere in a bag and have a couple extra five, five, six rounds to go. It's, it's not a bad thing. And for $10, you know, not bad. Um, next thing is going to be a uh, who rag. Who rag says it's better than a bandana, better than a bandana. How is it better than a bandana? Let's uh, take a look here and see what it looks like. So, yeah, good material, uh, very bandana ish. Um, oh, I actually have one of these. Oh, okay, I actually have this exact one. I didn't know this was a company it's made by, but um. That's uh, so, you know, basically what you're going to go ahead and do um, is uh, have it over here and, um, you know, you'll, uh, you have it like that. So, you know, um, trying to keep smoke out of your face or you got a hat, riding a motorcycle, riding an ATV, something like that, keep dust, debris, smoke out of you. Again, if you're fire or something like that help keep some of the smoke inhalation out of your lungs um or just you know cool for at night if you want to add that shock and all factor to somebody right I, i've worn these plenty of times um for things and uh yeah this is actually pretty good it's not too choking too uh, you know comfortable and a lot nicer than all those bullshit masks we had to wear for the last two years which uh we won't even get into that but but again that is pretty cool um i've got a couple of skull masks but Never, uh, never a bad thing to have another, right? They're saying $16, um, face mask, neck gator. Again, I've, if you guys have watched my other video, uh, with the Shamog and stuff, I mean, there is a lot of different uses for this as far as water collection, um, using it as a makeshift sling and some other things. So it's not a bad thing to have, um, you know, uh, especially this time of year, heat exhaustion, right? If you're out in the desert or in the mountains or something, real bad heat, heat exhaustion, you're starting to get to that level. You go ahead and just, uh, you know, wet this thing down with cool water and uh, go ahead and put it around your carotid arteries or carotid arteries, excuse me, uh, help cool the blood flow down to your brain, help bring your temperature down rather quickly, uh, much quicker than just splashing water in yourself. Um, so again, they do say $16 um, and uh, yeah. Uh, or just want to keep that. Okay. Yeah. That's another good point. I was just going to say, and it says on the card, um, if you're running a suppressor on your, uh, gun, you know, uh, if you've never run a suppressor before, um, when you are, your gun tends to get a lot more of that gas blowback because it's holding it inside the baffles. Right. So you're getting that gas blowback in your face. Um, and you're kind of eating a lot of that gas, depending on if you're running a short barrel rifle or something like that. So nice to, again, be able to keep that gas from, you know, getting inside of you. Um, so that's a good thing. Not too sure what this is. Um, I don't even think this is something. Let's see here. Doesn't say anything. So it looks like it was a part of something that uh, just, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
And then we've got a little morale patch um, here, uh, you know, in case you want to put it on your vest and, uh, you know, pretend you belong to some elite unit. I'm not a big morale patch fan. I mean, some of them are okay, but you know, whatever. But hey, I mean, it's something they threw in there for five bucks. At least they're not overvaluing it. So I'll give you that. Um, and then the last thing is going to be a uh, VSM strike plate uh, or strike face soft armor plate. Um, I, of course, have lots of, you know, armor for work. And I also have other armor outside of work. I have, uh, I don't have soft plates. I'll tell you that for, uh, you know, for outside of work. Um, my body armor for outside of work is the uh, sappy plates. And, you know, they'll stop 762 rounds, uh, but it's rather heavy. They're the old school steel ones. They're pretty heavy to wear. They're not the new ceramic ones. Let's see what this will stop. It's, I, they've said, okay, for pistol calibers only, which I, I figured. But, hey, if you don't have a plate and you have a plate carrier, it's pretty good to start you out with a soft plate. That is not a bad thing to have at all. Um, you know, some states like New York and some other states were actually outlawing you having body armor. So that's a pretty good thing if you don't have a plate to get a plate in there. And um, that plate is valued at $80. And I'll tell you, body armor is not cheap. So for $80, I would believe it. Uh says let's see here soft armor capable of stopping a 44 mag so it says it's going to stop a 44 magnum on most handgun rounds most guys are not carrying nine millimeter 380 those are some of the more popular ones and if it says a 44 mag i mean that's pretty good again um you know not only even if you don't have a plate carrier uh if you got kids in school and stuff like that with all the school shootings and stuff going on Honestly, this is a great idea to take this it's soft. It weighs next to nothing. Take it, throw it in the backpack towards, the, you know, very uh, front of the backpack. And um, God forbid there's a shooting or something like that. Teach your kid. They can take their pack, flip it around, put the straps on in front of them. And now they actually have a plate um, carrier, makeshift plate carrier in front of them that can stop uh, some rounds. Or if you're traveling and you're on vacation or whatever, or you're just traveling somewhere for work, and you carry a backpack with your stuff again, throw this in there and God forbid your hotel or something else or wherever you are, there's an active shooter. You got your backpack, go ahead, slip that around to the front of you. And again, you've got some uh, at least pistol caliber protection on your chest. So that is actually a really great thing to have. And uh, probably the most exciting thing I've seen in these boxes yet. So uh, again, operation 61 um, barrel and blade for this month, I'm going to say definitely, definitely made up for last month's fanny pack bullshit. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very pleased. And again, um, I don't math very well, so I'm going to try it really quick off the fly here. But again, 100 bucks for the box. You know, shipping is 5 10 whatever. Um, but if we add up the value, they're saying so 80 25 So what? So we got 105 Let's go with the 15 right there. So we're at, uh, let's see, 130 There's the, okay, so 150 150 160, uh, 170, so um, about $180 plus value um, for the $100 you spend. And again, getting that uh, armor plate, um, the couple of uh, you know self-defense knives and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb and say this box is all about self-defense this month, um, you know, with the extra mag carrier and uh, to be able to carry an extra mag, couple of self-defense things that, you know, aren't uh, metal and a soft plate. I'm going to say that this is a really good box and well worth the value. Um, so anyway, guys, that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, as always, stay safe, stay tactical, stay dangerous. Have a good day, guys.